one. And programming challenge number five, test prime numbers. The idea behind this program is that you enter a number yourself and the program tests whether it's a prime number or not. And it's actually quite a prescient uh, question because this can be solved many different ways and uh, the whole value of bitcoins and the bitcoin algorithm has got to do with the rarity of prime numbers. So the idea here is um, you're going to use the mathematical remainder function uh, in combination with iteration. But let me go through the code components. You're going to need a variable. Um, you're probably going to need a boolean in this one. Again, not absolutely necessary, but um, in my solution, I'll use a boolean. Um, we're going to need to initialize the serial port. We're going to do a combination of printing strings and variables. Um, a delay maybe between processing inputs just to avoid the chaos I think iteration is absolutely essential um, you're going to need to take a number and basically divide it by every other number smaller than it and if um, there's a remainder present every time then it's a prime number pretty much that's that's the logic of the math um, yeah and if statement um, and you're going to need this combo of code. Basically, what this says is that when you enter a number preceded by A, it saves it into a variable into the Arduino memory. So this is how you enter a number into an Arduino using this little block of code. And this here is simply the remainder function. So this um, here asks what's the remainder when we divide 10 by 4 the remainder is 2 um, and you're going to uh, need to use the remainder you can have your number that you entered here you can have some iterating variable um, that you're going to uh, divide by and get the remainder of so um, this is what the output is meant to look like you can neaten it up a little bit more actually I'll show you what what my final one is so you have ah, write your number preceded by the letter a so we go a 55 your number 55 is not prime and we go a 11 your number 11 is prime a 17 or 174 not prime a 17 and if we just do a randomly big number, yeah, what happens is when we go beyond 30, about 35,000, um, when you use integers, weird things happen. But you could just change that to long, and that won't be a problem. Okay, that's the explanation. Your turn to program it. So, were you up to the challenge? If so, Paste your solution code in the comments below, and if it's really simple or original, I will feature it in the solutions video. And while you're at it, why not check out some of the other challenges? So far there are six, and surely more to come.